in this tutorial we're going to be having a look at position vectors displacement vectors and the difference between them and we'll apply it to a particular type of exam style question but before we do that let's take an example let's say we've got a point A with position vector 3 2 and a point B with position vector 8 12 let's say that we want to find out how to get from A to B the set of directions needed to get from point A to point B we denote this displacement vector i.e. the vector that you need to get between two points like that that means how to get from A to B well we do that in all cases by simply doing the position of B take away the position of A the difference between them is how to get from one to the other so in this case it's 8, 12 the second take the first 3, 2 which gives us 5, 10 now let's just check if this is right so this says to get from A to B we need to travel 5 in the x direction well yes 3 plus 5 is 8 and 10 in the y direction 2 plus 10 is 12 yep yeah, so that's correct right let's apply it to this question here it is the points A 3 2 B 4 9 C minus 2 7 and DXY form a parallelogram okay it's a good idea to draw a diagram so A has position 3 2 B has position 4 9 C has position minus 2 7 and D has position X Y let's make this look vaguely like a parallelogram now a parallelogram is defined as being any shape that has two pairs of parallel sides so here's a parallel pair of sides here and here's a parallel pair of sides here okay so how can we use this fact to find the coordinates or the position vector of D well we know that from B to C is exactly the same set of directions as A to D we know that because of the parallelogram we know that the sides are of equal length and go in the same direction so let's find out what BC is so to get from B to C look in our tutorial before that is the position of C take away the position of B equals minus 2 7 take 4 9 equals minus 6 minus 2 so that's how to get from B to C well actually that must be exactly the same as how we get from A to D so D must have the position where we start at A then add on then travel these sets of directions here minus 6 minus 2 so that's equal to 3 2 plus minus 6 minus 2 which gives us minus 3 and minus 2 plus 2 is 0 so in this case we can now say x equals minus 3 and y equals 0 so for more videos like this head over to a-levelmathsrevision.com